Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky. Check it in today's video. We have some great news. We have One UI beta number four with Android 14 for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let's dive in and see exactly what is new and what has changed. So let's go to the settings real quick. And if I go all the way down and go to software update, I can tap on last update. You can see that was done today. And it is in fact a large update of one gigabytes plus. The version is now ending with ZWIC and we do have the October security patch, which may or may not be a bug because October still has not started. So that's the information on the update and you can see that we do have a lot of bug fixes. And also we still have a bunch of known issues. We are gonna come back to these, but let me show you some of the minor changes that have been going on with this update. Of course, there's a lot of under the hood improvements. The performance is now better. Animations seem to be a little bit better, okay? Actually, they are a little bit better, so that's good, but not a dramatic change. Now, one thing I wanna show you guys is when you pull down the notifications panel, you can see now we are not seeing the app icon next to the actual notification. From the first beta till the third beta, over here, we were seeing the actual app icons. Now we're just seeing standard icons that show up in the notifications panel. Now that is because you can now toggle that on and off. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When you go to the settings, and when you scroll down and go to notifications, and go to advanced settings, you can see right here, we have the option to show app icons in notifications. So when I enable this, let's see if it's gonna apply the change, which it did not. Probably we have to just clear this up and wait for a new notification to show up, and then it's gonna to start to show up all the app icons. So by app icons, I mean whatever app icon shows up over here is going to show up in the notifications. What we now do have that setting as you can see, that allows you to show app icons in notifications. Hopefully we get a new notification in a minute and I can show you guys what's going on with that. Let's see what else is going on. So we do have a new notification, so I'm gonna pull this down. You can see now it is the actual app icon right next to the notification. And the app is this one right here. That's the YouTube Studio application. You can see it right there. It is also showing simultaneously right over here. So that's it. Now one more thing that's happening here that has been reported is if you go to the settings and if you go into the security right here, apparently there's some new animations over here as you can see. Just a minor difference from the previous versions as far as I can tell. Okay, so that's not a big deal. But looks like that's about it when it comes to the actual changes. I'm not seeing anything else over here. Now, if I go to the settings again, go all the way down, software update, last update, you can see we have a bunch of bugs that were fixed. So we have fixed the onboarding failure when we're trying login after initializing Samsung Pass. I don't think that happens to a lot of people, but that bug has been now resolved. A voice recognition bug was also fixed. Now this one right here, fix the Google Assistant execution problem when swiping up in the gesture mode, which is this right here. Now it is coming up easily. I was having problem with this executing every now and then. Now it is working properly. And then it says many other improvements even though I think they should list what was improved so we can see and test exactly what is going on instead of trying to hunt it down. That being said, it is a large update, one gigabytes plus, so there's a lot of stuff going on, but let's scroll down. And then we still have some known issues that you can pause and read. So if you are having these issues, it's still actually happening, okay? Now beyond that, like we said, the performance of the phone, it is super smooth, just like the previous beta, but it does feel slightly more refined as far as overall fluidity is concerned. So let me just launch a couple apps here and see what's going on. Okay, one, do it a couple times. It seems to be a little bit less bouncy. So previously when I launched the uh, calculator and when I just go like this, it feels like the app bounces all over the place but this time it seems to be a little bit more calm and collected, but that just could be my perception. You let me know down below what you feel with the fluidity of the system. Let's look at the folder animations here. Okay, just as before, nice and smooth. Okay, let's do this, pull this down. Okay, that looks the same as before as well. No changes here, as you can see. Remember, you can tap the edit button and edit the notifications panel this way. I do like this look here. 
And let's also quickly look at the device care because they've been made, making some changes in there. Okay, stuff like adding the performance profile right over here and the auto optimization. We had some changes in the battery. So this graph is a little bit different, but not that different. Okay, so no major changes in the device care either. Uh, overall, great update. It just means we are closer to the final release where we can finally enjoy the phone with One UI 6.0 with minimum bugs. If you have discovered something new, drop a comment down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?